otherwise. Can you tell us what you understand to be the latest situation for Snowden and uh, what your involvement with Edward Snowden is, why he is so significant to you, what his actions have been? Edward Snowden's freedom is a very important symbol. Um, Bradley Manning's incarceration is also an important symbol. Uh, Bradley Manning is now a martyr. Uh, he didn't choose to be a martyr. Uh, I don't think it's a, a proper way for activists to behave, to choose to be martyrs. Uh, but these um, young, young men, allegedly in the case of Bradley Manning and clearly in the case of Edward Snowden, uh, have uh, risked their freedom, uh, risked their lives uh, for all of us. Uh, that makes them heroes. Now, Bradley Manning has been put into a position uh, quite unjustly where he's facing 136 years. That brings disrepute upon the United States government uh, and upon its system of justice. Uh, Edward Snowden uh, has seen uh, what has uh, happened to Bradley Manning. Uh, the Ecuadorian government in their asylum assessment of, of me uh, looked at what happened to Bradley Manning. Uh, U.S. guarantees about torture uh, mean nothing. Uh, we all know that the United States government simply redefines uh, its, uh, its torturous uh, and abusive treatment of prisoners, uh, stress, uh, stress positions, a restriction on diet, uh, extreme heat, extreme cold, uh, um, de deprivation of basic um, things needed for living, like uh, uh, glasses uh, or... or um, uh, or the company of others. It simply redefines that as to not being tortured. So uh, its word is worth nothing uh, in this particular case. Um, uh, in relation uh, to the death penalty, guarantees about the death penalty uh, have more credence. Um, but um, we wouldn't want uh, Edward Snowden to be in a Jack Ruby type situation. That's a, 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 a quite a possibility for him, that if he ended up uh, in the United States prison system, um, that given all the level of vitriol uh, that exists against him by the administration, uh, that he would not be safe uh, from police, he would not be safe uh, from prison guards, uh, and he would not be safe uh, from other prisoners. Uh, there's no question that he would not, uh, that, that he, there's no question uh, that he would not receive uh, a fair trial. Uh, similarly, um, the charges against him uh, are political. Uh, there's only allegations on the, on the table at the moment that he acted uh, for a political purpose uh, to educate all of us. Those are the only allegations that exist. Um, it is uh, incorrect that extraditions uh, should take place uh, for a political purpose. Uh, he's clearly been exercising uh, his political opinion. But we've seen amazing statements by the White House um, in relation to Edward Snowden's meeting with uh, Human Rights Watch based in New York, Amnesty International based in London, uh, that that should not have happened, uh, that that was a propaganda platform uh, for Edward Snowden. I mean, this is incredible to see Jay Carney, a White House spokesperson, denouncing Edward Snowden for speaking to human rights groups. Um, Edward Snowden cannot possibly uh, receive a fair judicial process in the United States uh, under that basis. Uh, he has applied for asylum in a number of different countries. Uh, I believe that um, Russia will uh, afford him uh, asylum uh, in this case, at least uh, on a, a temporary or, inter or interim basis, and a number of other countries uh, have offered. Julian, uh, what? Julian, what is.